Hi, you're welcome to this video. Today we shall be considering the construction of common external tangent on two equal circles. So the first thing is to draw a horizontal line, then on that line you draw a circle of a given radius. After getting the circle on the side where the horizontal line touch the circle, you mark A and B on both circles that's with the center O prime and O prime prime then we draw a perpendicular line passing through the center of each of the circle so in that way we can be able to get where the edge of the circumference which will give us the tangent at the point E and F on both circles In this video, we shall consider the construction of common internal tangent of two equal circles. Now the first thing is to draw a horizontal line which on it will mark the points A and B which will be the center of our circles. Now at the point A will draw our circle then the distance between the two the centers of these two equal circles will be a b so at that point b will draw our circle then now we'll bisect the line a b to give us the midpoint which will be c so we'll connect the line at this point which will give us c so after getting the point c now we we'll bisect the line ec bisect the line ec so that we'll be able to get a semicircle which would be able to help us in getting the point where it will be the tangent that will touch the circle with the center a so at this point we we'll draw a semicircle so at the point where the semicircle touches this circle with the center E, that will be the point where it will give us the tangent, which is the point E. So we'll connect a line from A passing through E. So with that parallel with that line, we produce a parallel line uh, radiating from the center of the circle B. So so the edge of the circumference of the circle where it touches will be F. So connect the point E and F to give us the required tangent. In this video, we shall consider the construction of external tangents on two unequal circles. So the first thing is to draw a horizontal line against the center A and B. So at the center A, we we'll draw the first circle, which is the larger circle. We we'll draw it at that point. Then we we'll get the required distance between the two centers of the circles which is a b so at the point b we we'll draw the smaller circle with the given radius so after drawing it we'll bisect the line a b so after bisecting the line we'll get the point we'll now describe a semicircle with the center at C we'll describe a semicircle but before that we'll get the point which is BN then we use the radius to get the point NP so BM is equal to NP so after marking the point P we draw a circle with the radius AP then 
the distance on the line AC will now mark so that it gives us the, the circle which will touch the semicircle at the point D. Then we'll radiate, we'll extend the line AD to touch the circle at E. So with that, we we'll produce a parallel line on from the circle A on the circle B to give us the point F, so which will help us to get the tangent. So we'll connect the, the line from E through to F, which will give us the required tangent. On this one, we'll draw common internal tangents of two unequal circles. So the first thing is to draw the horizontal line and mark a point E. So after marking the point E, we'll draw the, semi the circle at that point. Then at B, we'll draw the smaller circle. Now the next thing is to bisect the line AB. So after bisecting the line AB, we'll get the new, the center, the midpoint, which is C. So after getting this midpoint, we'll draw a semicircle. We'll draw a semicircle. At this point O, we'll draw a semicircle. So now the, the radius of our circle, the smaller circle, we'll put it at the point D to get uh, a distance outside the circle. Because in this one, we're constructing the internal tangent. So we'll get the point E, and now with the radius AE, we'll describe an arc to meet the semicircle at F. So we'll get a straight line from A to F, the line AF will connect the line AF. So the line AF will be parallel to a line coming out from the center B. So the line coming will draw a line from the center B to give us a H. So from H to G will connect the tangent, connect a line to give us the tangent. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos.